How's it going guys? So today we're going to jump into HD Photo Hub and get you set up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go log in. You'll have an email in your ShutterZone email. You log in, you'll see your dashboard here. This is where it's going to also show all of your appointments normally, but as of right now, it's not showing anything because it's a new account. So you have sites at the top. This is also where you're going to be able to see all of the sites that are shot with us. And then you have business. This is where we're going to dive in a little bit more deep. So you'll be able to see everyone on the team right in here. And then you'll be able to go to your service areas and go into your name. Whoops. So we'll have to actually go back first, go into your account first and enter your basic information. All right, save. So we have, uh, we have the address in here. A few other things you're going to want to do is put in your phone number just because this is going to be able to make it so the admin knows how to get a hold of you, any of that stuff. If we need to get a hold of you, it's just nice to have all of this right in one spot so we can get access. And then also you can add your social media on here. One thing we are going to do is add a headshot because that is essential. People want to know who you are. They want to know what you look like and it shows them who you are before you get to the appointment. So they know who they're looking for. Save updates. Now we're going to go over to earnings. This is going to be where it shows your assigned work, your earned work and your payouts. You'll be able to track all this stuff so that way you don't have to worry about wondering what your pay is going to look like on the next coming paycheck. It'll, it'll basically show you upcoming and what you've already completed. Listing pages, you don't have to worry about this. So in reports, you'll find mileage report. And what's awesome about this is you'll be able to pull the mileage for all your driving. You'll be able to just hand it to your accountant and say, hey, this is the miles I've drove this year. And they'll just be able to put it in and write it off super easy. Password, you can update here, easy. App integration, this one is huge. We're gonna go to Google Calendar, hit authorize my account. And then we're going to select your shutter zone email. Ignore this one. This is just a dummy email I'm using for the video. And then you're going to select, once that populates, select the calendar and then client name and location. And then choose <coughs> clients choose date and time is what you're going to want to choose. Next appointment offered tomorrow. You don't want it to happen today. There's nothing worse than being out and about and all of a sudden you get hit for an appointment like an hour later. It's just talk about stress. So then maximum appointments, you can set that if you'd like to. Otherwise we leave it as no limit. Same with work hours, no limit. Appointment start interval, we put at the hour and drive time allowance, usually between 30 minutes to an hour. 45 minutes is usually a sweet spot. Uh, weekly appointment availability. This is where you're going to check what days you tentatively want to be available. So if you're like, I normally want to work nights and weekends from five to nine on nights and on weekends, I'm going to be open all day, 10 to six. That doesn't mean that you're always going to have to be booked at those times. That just means the tentative times that work for you on a reoccurring basis. So then you can go into your Google calendar and block off the time that you want to block. So if you have a dentist appointment, if you have a hair appointment, if you just want to sit at home and do nothing, block the time off and you won't get booked. Now we go back to business and we go to your service areas. And here is where you're going to set up your service area. You can copy from another team member if they live close to you. However, the best way to do it is add a service area, hit driving distance, and then we usually go in interval intervals of 25 miles. So 25 miles, 50 miles, 75 miles. Uh, when just starting out, I highly recommend not putting any mileage on it. Just make it free and expand it as wide as you're willing to go to help build your book of business um, and then niche it down. So 25 miles and what's cool is now it populates exactly what 25 miles looks like. And then you can add another one for 50 miles. So, and then you can play around in here. Now it shows that, so priority is the 25. That's the first one. You can put, don't charge up to 25 miles and you can put, you know, $10 base rate to go to 50 miles or uh, 50 cents a mile, 55 cents, whatever you want to do. Just know that sometimes travel fees can make or break a sale um, or it can make them choose a different photographer that may not have a travel fee in that area. So either build really strong relationships with them or 
don't charge your mileage as much, you know what I mean? Or wave it every now and then. And then now we're gonna go back. Um, app integration, you don't have to worry about that. Referral code, again, you don't have to worry about that. So basically, all you're gonna do is be bouncing between account and business to set your information up. And then dashboard is gonna show you where your calendar is, show you the appointments on it, upcoming, upcoming appointments. And also it has training videos on here so you can learn HD Photo Hub better. However, it's not that mandatory. You just need to know the basics so that way you can function in there. Otherwise, CN or admin takes care of the rest of that so you don't have to monkey around so but also you can check your photos in here too so that's why it's nice you can go and pull up your property at the site that you shot and take a look at all the great photos that you've done and go through their site media see all the cool stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed my closet segment here nico's sleeping in the other room so i set this up so that way i can still get the videos out get the trainings going and uh just bring you guys more value regardless of the circumstances don't let circumstances dictate your future am i right all right, take care, guys. We'll see you later.